Hi there, Lachlan from Cisco Meraki here, and today I'm going to walk you through the MR family of products, Meraki's wireless access points. So Meraki's MR access points sit here in the organization, our outer access points and our indoor access points. As with all Meraki appliances, these are controlled via the Meraki dashboard, and you can either use them as part of an entire Meraki stack or just as standalone items in terms of your networking. Now to understand the evolution of Wi-Fi is to really understand just how far we've come up to Wi-Fi 6 here in 2019. As you can see on this graph here, there's been a massive improvement in terms of throughput that Wi-Fi access points can really provide. And as a result of that, there's been a massive explosion in terms of use cases for Wi-Fi in terms of applications and also the number of devices connecting. So Wi-Fi 6 is such a momentous step forward in terms of Wi-Fi technology because it now effectively transforms access points from operating like hubs to more intelligently operating like switches. This in turn has required and results in an extreme throughput improvement. On top of that as well, lower latency, a large number of users being able to access Wi-Fi simultaneously and also intelligently scheduling check-ins with things like low power IoT devices. Now these advantages are provided through two technologies primarily. OFDMA or orthogonal frequency division multiple access. And what this effectively does is it breaks the Wi-Fi channel bandwidth into 234 subbands or subcarriers. And what that does in turn is it increases the user data rates and reduces the latency in dense Wi-Fi applications. Now on top of that, MUMIMO or multiple user, multiple input, multiple output. This increases the number of antennas receiving and transmitting data. Unlike the Wi-Fi of yesteryear, which they were either dedicated receiving or transmitting antennas and there was limitations there. Now Wi-Fi 6 can intelligently switch between those in some instances and off the back of that it now allows multiple users to access Wi-Fi simultaneously. So these two technologies have really made Wi-Fi 6 such a momentous leap forward in terms of technology and also the number of applications in which Wi-Fi can find users. So to understand why businesses choose Meraki, it's really important to understand why Meraki in general. And the reason businesses typically choose Meraki is because Meraki solves for business pain points. I implore a lot of businesses to ask themselves, how does your business make money? And very seldom is it the case that running their network is how they make money. It's typically through some other activity, whether they're a doctor's surgery, whether they lay driveways in construction, whether they fix cars, whether they're a service station, whether they're a school. It's typically not through running the network. And that's where Meraki is a really good fit. We have that really robust backbone on which you can build other applications and we build in things like security. We simplify the network management so you only need a lean IT team to help troubleshoot what's going on there. We're flexible, we're scalable. You can add things like cameras to the Meraki network very, very seamlessly. And ultimately it's all around saving time and reducing that total cost of ownership. If your business wants to have that quality, high performance solution, that's gonna be the backbone as to how you operate, Meraki is a really good fit. So the features of Meraki access points, fully cloud managed, the ability there to have everything be cloud-based, log in remotely, log in from home, anywhere with an internet connection, you can monitor and manage your network. Have devices shipped to sites, have someone who's not even in IT plug a device in, zero touch provisioning. Super straightforward with Meraki. Even doing things like configuring devices before they even arrive at one of your branch locations. High performance radio frequency design. Not only are Meraki access points able to do their own Wi-Fi surveys with their own built-in radios, they have their own dedicated radios to scan Wi-Fi channels in a 2.4 and 5 gigahertz uh, frequencies. And on top of that as well, you can then use the dedicated Bluetooth beacon to identify devices even do things like tracking who's walking in and out of stores, for example, right through to then ensuring the security of your network and enterprise security. The ability to tap into all the security features of Meraki and Cisco off the back of that with things like Talos and then things like Umbrella as well, which can be easily enabled with Meraki's MR series. Now, on top of that, things like bring your own device and guest Wi-Fi ready out of the box, simply set up a splash page and even set up a payment gateway for people, say, at a motel looking to pay for Wi-Fi. Super straightforward with Meraki and no third-party applications required to do so. And then finally, cloud-managed health and remote troubleshooting. That ability to get support from not only the 24-7 support that's included with Meraki's licensing, but on top of that as well, be able to re remotely troubleshoot. You don't have to physically attend a site anymore to see what's going on to be able to check what ports are plugged in, to be able to do a cable test, to be able to blink an LED so you can instruct someone who's at that site what's going on and how they can fix it and troubleshoot. All that is built in with Meraki's MR wireless access points. So I've spoken there about some of the features. Let's have a look at the models here. The quickest and easiest way to understand the models is to look at this list here 
there's that link there to that comparison spreadsheet down the bottom. It's the same data you're looking at here if you do want to download that and play with that in your own time. And on top of that as well, the Meraki wireless design guidelines, that link at the bottom there, if you are going to design your own wireless installation with Meraki, some great uh, advice and guidelines there around how to do so, how to work out what kind of level of capacity you need with your access points. So at the top there, highlighted in white are our uh, .11 AX, Wi-Fi 6 access points, both indoor and outdoor models there, external antennas and internal, and on top of that as well, the throughput rates there. So again, with those design guidelines down the bottom, you can really get a feeling for how many users you're going to have, what kind of a use case you've got, and then off the back of that, what access points and how many are going to be suitable for your application. On top of that as well, if you don't necessarily want to go with Wi-Fi 6, even though we are seeing a lot of movement into that space, and you want to stay with something like .11 AC Wave 2, very much so we still offer the AC uh, variants there. As you can see, again, both indoor and outdoor, external and internal antennas, and the actual throughput ranges there. So a lot of flexibility there to match exactly what you're after there. Just doing simple things like using our external antennas, for example, on some of our APs, you could say section off multiple rooms in a very high density application, like a school hall, for example, section out areas. So one AP can handle you know, multiple hundreds of students, for example. And on top of that as well, if you've got say an outdoor installation and you wanna get further range, having those antennas can absolutely help there as well. So just to expand on the antennas, there's both indoor and outdoor variants there. The links here are live. This presentation is in the description, so feel free to explore those in your own time as well. Now, key to understanding Meraki's wireless access points, it's key to understand how Meraki's licensing works. So first of all, all Meraki hardware has a matching licensing term, one, three, five, seven, or 10 years, and that provides Meraki dashboard access for product configuration and monitoring, firmware and feature updates, no charges for new features, and vulnerability patches pushed over the air if required, 24-7 phone and email support from Sydney, San Francisco, or London offices, so you get full coverage 24-7. And on top of that as well, lifetime warranty whilst licensed. Any hardware that fails during a license period is replaced. There are some caveats there. Please click on that link to see some more details. Finally, co-termination licensing is the default. Everything terminates on one day to give you just one simple day on which you need to renew, or you can go to per device licensing if you want more granular control over your devices on the network. Finally, the Meraki dashboard SLA there, 99.99% .99 uptime. That's less than one hour downtime per year, and that's only the dashboard itself. Now, on top of that, you also need to pick a license type if applicable. So with our MR access points, there's only two different license types, enterprise, which most people are going with at current, and also advanced wireless if you did want to add Cisco umbrella. And that's pretty much it. That's all you need, a license term and a license type, and that's it, you're up and running. There's no hidden licenses. There's no extra features to add on. It's simply that straightforward with Meraki. So that's been a quick overview of the Meraki MR series wireless access points. If you do have any questions, please feel free to email me there or connect with me on LinkedIn. Thanks.